Hello and welcome to NI's ADAS and AD Stories. My name is Daniel Riedelbauch. I'm a solutions marketer here at NI focused on ADAS and autonomous drive test validation. Today, we have a little bit of a different setup. As you can see, I'm all alone. Uh, but no worries, I will be joined here in a minute by our offering manager, Nicholas Kiel, uh, who will be doing a demo for us. Um, Nick, um, as I mentioned, is an offering manager and therefore gets to work closely with our customers and defines systems and solutions from an eye for various different application areas. In today's uh, demonstration, uh, we will be showcasing to you a new system which is called Data Record System AD, um, and it's uh, tasked to be a in-vehicle data logging system um, for ADAS sensor data as well as uh, any type of network uh, communication within the vehicle. So why is data recording within the vehicle so essential in particular when we're talking about the ADAS and autonomous drive domain? Well, um, it provides the highest degree of realism, fidelity, and also allows us basically to identify corner cases and is one major source uh, into our validation work stream. But it comes also with a lot of challenges. Uh, first and foremost, the high amount of data bandwidth that's going to be required, typically in the range of gigabytes per second. These data streams also need to be tightly synchronized together so that all of the sensors and networks can also then be played back or used back in, 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 in the lab for an HLL setup um, in a tight synchronized fashion. What's also important is uh, that um, these systems within the vehicle are typically getting fairly complex because you have different setups for different sensors uh, that need to be puzzle pieced together. So therefore having uh, as close as possible to a single box is something uh, that the industry is looking for. And last but not least, um, we're seeing that the, the sensor setups as well as the network setups within the vehicle are different not only from one vendor to another, but really like from one vehicle program to another vehicle program within the same vendor. So therefore you have to have a lot of flexibility to adapt to uh, these changing requirements. And you never know like how the setup of the, of the future might look like. So um, data record system AD is built on the PXI standard, which already provides a, a lot of uh, variety of IO and uh, network interfaces. Um, these uh, are also tightly synchronized together through the instrument grade uh, setup that uh, we can provide. And it's also open and extensible um, for uh, any changes in the future so that you're ready um, uh, whatever requirements or regulatory changes might come along. Today's setup uh, consists of a sensor unit. Um, so you will see uh, a uh, two cameras uh, being hooked up to the system. Um, one is a uh, GMSL camera, the other one is an, uh, a Geek E camera. Um, we have also connected a LiDAR sensor as well as a radar sensor. And all of this is uh, directly connected to data record system AD without uh, additional uh, need for converter boxes. So that already helps us to reduce the system complexity, um, reduce the footprint, as well as also trim down the power requirements. On the system itself, we have uh, data record AD running, which is um, uh, the software that an I provides for ADAS uh, data logging applications. And uh, yeah, that's probably enough uh, of me talking up front. Uh, so let's switch over and, and have a look at uh, how the system uh, works in action. So over to you, Nick. All right, so here we have our data record AD user interface. Now this interface is, is available out of the box and it's primarily used as a diagnostic tool to make sure that your sensors are connected and running. And it also gives us a snapshot of system health. So what you can see here is we have uh, modular tiles for each one of our sensors. Uh, and we can select which sensors we want to display, which sensors are hidden, and we can zoom in. If we want to zoom in on a, on a particular camera to make sure that it's acquiring data uh, properly and the data that we're getting is good, we can zoom in and take a look at that. Uh, and we can and kind of zoom back out uh, to t take a look at the rest of our sensors. What you can see here is we've got uh, a couple of cameras, a LiDAR, and, and a radar sensor. Now the cameras are being uh, displayed over both Ethernet as well as, as GMSL. And our LiDAR is being streamed over UDP and our uh, radar is over CAN. And we can also zoom in on, on, the, on the LiDAR here. We can kind of rotate it and see how the LiDAR data uh, looks to make sure that it's, it's, it looks good. Um, in addition to the sensor interfaces, 
we get a snapshot of system health over here. Um, and you can see here we're um, utilizing about 28% of the CPU and we're moving about three gigabytes of data per second. Uh, the system is capable of, of a, uh, just a touch over six gigabytes per second, so it's very, very high performance. What we have here generates uh, about three. We're actually, we, what you'll see in a second is we're able to kind of replicate video streams as well. So we can uh, leverage video data in a variety of different ways. And it's in, in, for our demo here, that's how we get up to those those three gigabytes per, uh, per second of data transfer. So how did we put all of this system together? Let's take a look at the configuration utility. So what we have here is uh, a series of IO interfaces and data recording interfaces that enable us to set up a system configuration very quickly and easily. Um, we simply just drop down these items in our palette. These all represent plugins that either come with the product out of the box or we've developed ourselves. Here we have got a, a, a camera capture plugin that we can kind of drop down and we can add that plugin and we've got a, a series of configurations. We can connect that to wh whichever cameras that we have in our system and now we're able to extract data out of that camera. So let's take a look at uh, our, our camera zero here. We've named it. This is the name of the camera in the system and we're able to take this video stream and we're able to split it. So we are, um, we're sending our video data into our log uh, plugin here. And, and here we're selecting where we want the video data to go, um, how we want to segment the data, um, and, and how we want to, to parse it and, and include it. All of this includes metadata to make it more searchable. So we're able to, to find that data very quickly once we've, once we've acquired it. Now that same data stream is being split uh, and we're able to also take the data, downsample it, and select a, uh, a size to go into our user interface. So we're not streaming all the data, we're streaming a subset of that data, and we're able to choose exactly how much. On the radar side, again, this is a CAN interface, so we're able to, to drop it down and include our CAN data. We can set the baud rate and all of the appropriate CAN, uh, CAN uh, setup configurations to make sure that we're able to talk to our radar signal. Um, and again, we can take the data, log it, and visualize it by, by splitting that data up. And likewise, for the LiDAR, we're able to grab the data for, uh, from a UDP stream. We connect to the sensor. Uh, we can see here we've got a sensor IP address and the network address. We're able to connect to that LiDAR. Again, we can split it. We can record it. There's a lot of different things that we can do with this data. All of this is a drag and drop. And if we have a configuration that we use that we want to very quickly uh, copy, we can do that here. Uh, through a copy-paste activity here, and we we're able to very quickly change our configurations. Thank you, Nick, for this uh, nice presentation. Um, as always, please feel free to leave any comments and feedback down below uh, at the bottom. We have also added a link to the full-blown webinar if you would like to learn more about uh, Data Record System AD. As always, you can also ping me via email or find me simply on LinkedIn if you have uh, further questions or would like to uh, discuss further on. With that, um, we're closing this out and um, would like to say thank you for your attendance and hope we can see you soon again on another episode of uh, NI's ADAS and AD Stories. See you soon.